In today's video, we are in Manila, Philippines, about to head to a local night market called Market Market Hall. Oh, this is going to be exciting. We are on the search for some amazing street food. I can't wait. Let's go. La, 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 la. And basically, these night markets are all kind of a branch, all under one company. So the one I'm going to is called Market Market, but there's like seven, eight, nine other different night markets, all under the Mercado Central group i think anyway it's supposed to be really fun and it's cool to see apparently they have really good food and i can't wait so let's go check it out I'm all right so the first stall we're at is actually at a korean vendor i think and they specialize in serving a whole bunch of different korean foods as you can see over here i got this one potato chip spiral which looks pretty cool the price i couldn't really understand her it was either 130 150 maybe 100 I don't know, but really cheap for this huge potato chip that's dusted with cheese powder. Oh, like look at this. Look at how long it is. Oh man, I can't wait. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's like eating a Cheetos right there. Oh wow. Mmm. Oh yeah. Potato soap so thin but yet so crispy and crunchy like i don't know if i can hear that crunchy crunchy sensation so so good and it's a little bit salty though how to say they added a lot of salt but it's okay it tastes good but the flavor here is definitely coming from a cheese powder which you know it's very similar have you guys ever had those craft macaroni and cheese packets and then you gotta open the packet and then pour out the sauce it's all those cheese powder that's literally what it tastes like a craft mac and cheese sauce very very good though mm. Mm. Oh, I'm religious. A little bit hard to eat, but this is so worth it. Oh man. Oh man, that potato chip spiral was so good. But next item, as you know, we got two items. This is Korean corn dog. Yes, they have Korean corn dog inside. I'm assuming it's a hot dog and there's cheese. It's coated with a whole bunch of, it looks like ramen noodles or something. Like, huh? Okay, like, if, I don't know if the camera can catch it, but it literally looks like ramen noodles are in here and they doused they literally doused the whole bunch of tomato or ketchup and mustard oh it sounds so good and it's pretty cheap i think she said 130 filipino pesos not bad but anyways let's see how it tastes this thing is heavy mm. 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 Mm -hmm. so there was it's not bad i was expecting more for string pull but there's no pull to the string huh let me take another bite Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Look at the cheese. Oh, yeah. Not gonna lie, though, I think the cheese isn't cooked all the way through. Because if you look at the cheese, it's, it feels like it's one of those cheese that's just been heated just a little just to give it a stretch, but it's not gooey licked by any means. Other than that, flavor is not bad. Outside batter, very thick, very crispy, and crunchy. Inside, a little bit soggy, though, but flavor is really spot on. The ketchup, I think it's that it's a different type of ketchup. It's a little bit more on the sweeter side. Mustard is mustard. You know, you can't go wrong with mustard. But other than that, flavor is really good. Combine that with the potato chip spiral I had. Oh, this is a good way to start the video. Hi. Yes, sir. How much is a takoyaki? 124 pieces. Four pieces? Yeah. Okay, can I, can I get one? one? You like spicy? Yeah, spicy. Add spicy, please. Yo, sir. Want to try? Yo, uh, maybe yeah, later. Maybe, maybe later. Them. Maybe later. This is takoyaki for now. All right, next spot we're at is actually right next to them. It's a local takoyaki vendor. As you can see, they got takoyaki over here. It's fairly cheap, so four takoyaki balls is only 90 Filipino pesos, which is a great deal. Now, they said, they asked if I wanted cheese and corn and stuff like that. I'm just like, no, we don't need that. You know, takoyaki, I've never seen it with corn and cheese anyways. But this does look good and oh, it smells so so delicious you have to be here to witness it now the only problem is i'm trying to figure out how i'm supposed to eat this one hand is holding the gopro one hand is holding this i have uh uh we'll just have to do it this way so let's give it a try so we just have to do a close-up sorry about that guys you just stare at my giant face and oh man this is soggy uh let's mm. oh oh man oh that dough is soggy. The flavor is spot on. Wow, that is actually really tasty. Like, I want to show it to you. Hold on, let me see if I can show it to y'all. No, actually, I'll do it this way. Can y'all see that ball over there? Mmm. Absolutely delicious. Really nice. You know, inside, very soft, very doughy. 
but outside nice and crisp. Then you got the octopus. They are not kidding. They do not play around. They they put a big fat octopus piece in there. Loaded with Kewpie mayo. And I think that's the only sausage bonito flakes too. Overall, not bad. I really want to show it to y'all, but oh man, let me let me try it this way. Hold on. Got this. And okay. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it this way. I think I got it. As y'all can see, this is the takoyaki. Ho oh, ho ho. It is piping hot, but it's so good. Look at it. the bonito flakes just dancing around on top. Oh man. Let's take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Literally, once you take the entire bite of the taco yaki ball, all the flavors just start dancing in your mouth. It's like you're in the ocean swimming along with the octopus, swimming with the fish, and just get a whole burst of seafood flavor. Oh, this is actually making me happy. I'm just kind of sad. It's hard to eat while filming, but definitely worth it. Hello. Hello. How, mu how much is this? Three, six, four, one hundred. Three, four, one hundred. Yes, oh, okay. sir. All items uh, for. What is that? Big ear, okay. Yeah. What is this? Uh, beef barbecue. Huh? Beef barbecue. Beef barbecue. Yeah. And what is this? And a pork barbecue, sir. Okay, can I get one, two, three? Okay, sir. All right, the next one we're at is actually a local barbecue skewer place. And as you can see, I got a few different skewers right here, all of which looks absolutely amazing. But they actually have a fairly cheap price. Three skewers for only 100 Filipino pesos. That is a good deal. And I got three different varieties. Let me see how I'm gonna do this. So first things first, let me pull out this one. And this is the pork or pig ear skewer. And it's absolutely mad. I never had a pig ear skewer before. And it looks so good. Like, look at it. Shiny and glistening in the juice. There's some cartilage on the side. Oh, this looks so good. Let's give it a bite. It's fresh and just came out. Mmm. <laughs> Oh wow, that's like pig butter, whoa. Like literally, after you take the first bite, it feels like you're eating pork jello. It's so gelatinous, so soft, so tender, so moist and juicy. But then you get to the cartilage part where you get a little bit of crisp and crunchy sensation. Not too much, still soft enough that you can think of, oh, okay, it's edible. It's not bad, flavor-wise, it's really good. I think they added some type of sauce to it as well. I'm not sure, let me try it. Mmm. <laughs> absolutely amazing like i want to say the sauce is some type of sweet glaze i don't know i get a sweet sensation sweet and tangy overall not bad good combination this is a great skewer oh man i can really like this the next skewer we have is a beef barbecue skewer sorry about that beef barbecue skewer now i don't really see beef skewers all that often here in manila it's mostly pork but this looks absolutely delicious but very small like they're very stingy with the cuts this is this is barely any meat on it but it looks very good glistening and shining in that juice oh there's some tomatoes as well or i think it's tomatoes anyway let's give it a try because i can't wait on this is too good to not try hmm flavor is good it's just it's very chewy and hard oh man not a fan of this one. Oh man, I think something's wrong with the beef skewer. It is just so hard to chew. I've been chewing for like 10 minutes already. That thing still won't break down. I don't know how long it's been sitting there or how old this meat is. Oh God. Maybe I'll this first piece, I don't know. Let's try the second piece. I can't even get it off. That thing is just stuck on, that is hard. Oh man. I mean, don't get me wrong. Flavor is really good. Like that sweet glaze they use. I don't know what that glaze is. Every barbecue skewer place I went to all had some type of sweet glaze. And that glaze is just so delicious. But this beef one, oh, this is not working. This is just way too tough, rock hard. Nah, -uh. we're not gonna be able to eat this. This is, this is just way too hard. The last skewer that we have is actually a pork skewer, as you can see right here. Now, hopefully we have a better luck with this one because the pork ear cartilage, that was absolutely delicious. Beef was a fail, but this is just a pork barbecue. So hopefully it should taste really good. Let's give it a try. Still very tough, very tough and dry. Flavor is good though, like that sweet glaze. I'm loving that sweet glaze, but oh man, that is tough. Wow, like I'm pretty sure they cooked this meat a little bit too long, you know? I don't know, that's just my hunt because there's no way pork can be this hard considering the first barbecue skewer, the pork ears. That was so delicious. That was, that was my favorite skewer of all time. Oh man, so gelatinous, that cartilage tasted delicious. Everything about that pork ear was so good. But the beef and this pork barbecue, oh man. I don't know what's wrong with these two, but 
they're not doing it for me, huh? Maybe they just cooked it too long, I'm not sure, but either way, flavor is good though. That sauce absolutely bomb. Yes, Hello, what do you have? Red iced tea, cucumber, lemonade, iced tea. What is blue, what is blue lemonade? Blueberry. Blueberry lemonade. Oh, can I get, how much? Ninety-seven. Oh, okay. Can I get the large blue lemonade? Large. Thank you. All right, last but not least, you know we had to finish off with a drink. And this drink over here, I got blue lemonade, which is blueberry lemonade, which is pretty cool. I haven't seen blue lemonade before, so that's interesting. And as you can see, I already took a sip, but this is just way too hot right now. But anyways, we'll take another sip for the camera, so let's see how it tastes. That is good. That is cool, refreshing lemonade -y. Oh, man. And the best part about it is that, you know, it's not too sweet. It has a good lemon and lemony taste that's not too strong. Although, in all honesty, you don't really taste the blueberry whatsoever. Like, they said it's blueberry mixed in here, but I don't taste it. I just taste lemonade. So, it is what it is, but it is really good. It's very cheap. For the largest size, it's only 90 Filipino pesos, which is a great deal. By the way, this is a good way to finish off the video. But overall, my experience here at Market Market by Mercado Central was actually a pretty good one. I had a good time. Food was amazing. Now, I have to be honest. I thought the market was going to be a lot bigger, but it's actually fairly small. There's only eight or nine vendors here selling foods, that most of which we've seen at other markets before. But there's nothing really too special there. But the food that we did try was absolutely amazing. Now, there was a few foods I did want to try that looked really good. I just couldn't because as you know, I'm a solo traveler. I'm holding my GoPro with one hand, holding the food in the other. So it was impossible for me to eat because they serve it in bowls. So I had to get foods that I could film and eat, which was pretty good. Although the beef skewer and pork skewer wasn't that good, but everything else, not that bad. But over, other than that, you know, there's nothing really else to say because the market's pretty small. So I think I'm gonna end the video there. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and see you on the next Philippine video.